Hi guys, come on in. Welcome, welcome. So it is Carla Nicole, I'm a wisdom coach. And uh, welcome to my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to uh, hit that bell so you get the notifications um, whenever I post new videos. So I wanna talk today about mixing pleasure and business. How about that? Mixing business and pleasure. A lot of people don't want to um, mix the two. <laughs> they often say you should not mix business and pleasure, but I, ha I beg to differ. I want to talk about why I think it's a great idea to mix business and pleasure because it is a great thing if you do these certain things to make sure that the business and the love affair isn't compromised. But do understand, you have two relationships that you are in when you have a business and a love relationship cultivated into one. So I wanna talk about this tonight because I think it's important that we think about how can we really truly fix um, a relationship, even if it's started kind of rocky. You know, um, when you mix business and pleasure together, it's not always easy. A lot of times we, we love our lover, we love our mate, but when you have um, business um, goals and business um, obligations and things like that, a lot of times it's difficult because you're dealing with um, the numbers, you're dealing with the money, you're dealing with the, the appointments and, and the expectations and things of that nature, and that comes with the territory of business, right? And then you have your love affairs. So you have to deal with the obligations of that. Your mate is doing this, your mate is doing that. You got kids, you got bills, you got all kinds of stuff. Same scenario, but just different um, dynamic, of course. So what I wanna talk about is sometimes when you're in a love affair with your lover, um, we tend to feel some type of way because we get comfortable with them being in the dynamic as our lover. And maybe we just don't want to talk about business. Maybe we just don't want to talk about the problems in the relationship um, at the time we're dealing with something. And unfortunately, whatever is going on in either uh, relationship, either it's the business side or the love affair side, one way or the other, it is going to bleed into the other one, one way or the other. But I think one of the best ways to avoid this to be to become a hindrance to the growth of the relationship um, is to put up boundaries. And so why I say boundaries are key is because a lot of times we don't think about that after you know we get into it at work or we have a lover's quarrel at home, that those effects won't affect the relationship at work we're dead wrong, you know what I'm saying? So we have to think about these things because it's important to make sure that whatever type of style of relationship we're in, be it that we're in a love affair at work or not, when we're at work, we're at home, um, we, we need to make sure that we're being mindful of what it's going to take to make sure that we have a, a, a balance. And there will be moments and times where you know, we're gonna tip the scale. We're we're gonna go against the rules. We're gonna we're gonna allow certain things to just bleed over on one side or the other. That's just what it is. I mean, no matter how hard we try, even though we don't want it to happen, it unfortunately will, most likely. But I want to help relationships that have started or cultivated in the office or in in in, in the business and we found ourselves more attracted and now we're finding ourselves falling for each other. This is where it gets a little bit um, challenging because now we have this love affair and also we have the business arrangements and we have the business agreements and obligations. And in some senses, we cannot be in a romantic affair while we're at work <laughs> or, or while we're in business because you know, of course they claim that it's not healthy or whatever. But what I do wanna say is sometimes um, the best way to make sure that you both can you know, um, follow protocol and keep your intimate 
life separate from your business life is to make sure you're clear with it like i said with the boundaries and in the event that you are in a love affair at work and you're not supposed to or you kind of have this sticky arrangement going on um you're gonna have to put on your your acting skills so you got to be like I love being with you, but we have to play it off while we're at work because nobody can know about it, which again, we're going back to. And I always say it's so important that we think about knowledge of our lover is the best aphrodisiac for, for affairs. I'm just here to tell you they're the best. Okay. So the more knowledge you have of your mate, the better you are, the better the relationship is. So I'm just giving you a heads up that because you have access to your mate in a business arrangement, you actually have more in-depth knowledge of your lover than more people normally, that most people normally don't. Because when your lover goes to work, <laughs> a lot of times they come home and they're telling you all what's going on. You haven't a clue because you don't really... You know what I'm saying? You don't work there. So you only have a limited understanding as to what they're telling you about and what's going on. And although you can get, you know, a general understanding, you really don't have a, a holistic understanding. Which, again, because you're in a business with each other, you do have that holistic and, and, and in-depth understanding because you both do business together and you have an understanding of that. This is why I say... When you're in a relationship and you're in a love affair, your love affair um, becomes more in-depth and more um, fulfilling when you have that knowledge of them in all different dimensions they're in. So when you have that understanding of them being a parent, being a brother, being a son, being a wife, being a mother... Be when you have those understandings and you get that understanding based upon just knowledge of them by being involved with them and understanding the different dynamics that they go through, it helps you to um, have a much more in-depth, beautiful relationship. So again, the way to improve having a, a mix, mixing business and pleasure in a relationship, the best way to improve that is to make sure that you set up boundaries. And then you're clear with each other of what your expectations are. A lot of times we don't talk about what our expectations are with the business. Listen, if things don't go right in our business, how do we deal with that at home? Are we going to talk about it or is it off limits? Or how do we, how do we separate, separate the two so that it doesn't infringe upon our love affair? How do we do that? And can we do that? That's important. So again, like I said, mixing business and pleasure is not always easy but it can be done and one of the most important things about power couples that i think we don't realize is that they have a power within them because they don't allow the challenges or the upsets at work to stop them from having a intimate and beautiful sex life or dating life you have to have moments in time where you don't bring up business where you don't allow the business to be all into your bedroom you guys have to tell each other listen after six o'clock at night no more business conversation or just you know and, and even sometimes organically you can just figure out once we get home we're shutting it all down and i'm back to just being with you we're not going to talk about business we're just going to be with each other once you set the set that tone and you stay keep basically you keep that as a standard pattern and, and and agreement your love affair will improve so again you can mix business with pleasure and if you do just like i said be mindful of your boundaries make sure that you understand that you have a very good chance of improving um your love affair by knowing the business and learning business because you're now having a different element of understanding with your mate and like i said before your mate is an outlet strip every every single plug that you can plug into your mate will help you to understanding them 
And if you understand them, the in intrigue and the excitement and the joy from just knowing that side of them will, re will really improve the intimacy long term. Okay? So make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Make sure you do that. And again, I'm so glad you joined me, came in and, and hung out with me. Um, I'm going to do a lot more of these, but I wanted to bring up the importance of understanding that having a cultivated, beautiful relationship, including being inclusive with business, is actually a great thing because you can actually help your relationship to go to the next level of intimacy. Please share this video. I hope you enjoyed this. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye, guys.